think that's that's the ranking. I don't see any. Oh gosh, my Twitch just got a network error. Hello. Um, hmm, that's not good. I'm gonna reload the page and see if I'm still streaming. That's never good when it maybe possibly stops streaming. I'm listening. Good news from Kavach for a change. The last of the day. Oh, it's over here. Driven out. That's great. Okay. Good day. Oop. Yeah, I think my stream just totally hiccuped. Oopsies. Huh. Well, I guess if everyone who's watching is just going to miss me running from A to B. That is, I hate it when it does that. I hate it so much. Hi. Welcome back, anybody who might be watching after the fact. Uh... This is really weird because my internet is also just starting to die. See, I have this weird thing where when my 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 internet hiccups, um, like my Comcast is my ISP, and it does this hiccup where I can still the download is they're DDoSing the whole internet. No, but what would I do with my? I guess I could I could play Oblivion offline, right? All right, I'm fine. Nobody else can watch, but. Like, I can't YouTube, I can't Netflix, I can't play other games online, I can't do anything, I can't read my things. Um, actually, we're going to freaking wait until morning. Actually, we're going to spend a nice little night in my house. Um, but my ISP does this weird thing where um, the download's still fine. So, like, I could be, like, talking with people in, like, Discord chat. I could hear them totally fine. Everything's totally fine, but my upload dies. Like, it totally craps out for, like, 30 seconds or something and i'm just like hello can you guys hear me and they're just talking it's like you know where are you eat really eat i can't can't hear you and then like eventually it goes bidding and suddenly it re realizes that i'm sending stuff back again it's like so weird my, my, i i don't stop downloading it just a, no more upload upload just go away completely go away uh, oh gosh alicia that is if that's not the creepiest thing, look at that smile. What did you do? What did you do to me last night, ma'am? Ma'am, look at that. Look at that. That warm glow on your face and the smile. I don't. Uh, that is very bright with that torch out. All right. Now we got a nice, pleasant day outside. We can walk around. How come every time I step outside, my face gets that covered in like water effect? It's like rippling down the screen. Is that? That can't normally be normal, can it? Oh, maybe it is. Oh, oddly. It's weird. Twitch Twitch says I have three people watching, one of which is me. Um, but my, my Streamlabs thing still says I have zero. Maybe Twitch. It might be Twitch hiccuped. Like, Twitch completely hiccuped and everything's just like... Bleh. Maybe not completely hiccup, but maybe certain servers on Twitch hiccup, and that's why everything's like completely shitting itself. Oh, do I have the right? Yeah, that's the quest. Why is the arrow pointing behind me? Alicia? Is the quest is the arrow's pointing at you, isn't it? Why is it pointing at you? You need something of me? Yeah, why is the quest pointing at you instead of where I'm supposed to go? I don't know. That's very strange. Twitch is just doing. Twitch always does freaking strange things. I don't get it. Ugh. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna kill myself trying to come down this hill. Wait, uh, please stop. I think it might have been more than Twitch because my internet is dropping this from 72 megabits per second on and off at the same time. I start. Dang. Um, I, if I may ask, Billy. Um, like I'm Mountain Standard Time, Utah. Um, like, are you even anywhere in the, an area that would have a similar network backbone to me? Because that'd be, like, really weird if your internet was flaking off the same time I was and you're, like, Romania, you know? Where is this? Um, I'm heading about this the right direction. East Coast. That's a, that is a pretty wide branch of area to be affected. But that would explain why I I didn't just get like the you internet know, stop, like I didn't just get stop stop downloading the stream. I literally got a network error on the stream, which I I, I never get network 
errors. I just get it timing out or it buffer, you know, for infinite buffer, stuff like that. So, yeah, maybe a whole bunch of... A <laughs> bunch of DDoS happened, yes. Seems to have stabilized now. I guess some, some interns build coffee on something important. Somewhere at the big internet of things, right? There's a huge DNS server somewhere where someone's like, what does this plug do? When all the DNSs went off for a huge section of the world, I don't know. Well, that's an international thing, but actually there's a good chance that it's still hosted in the US somewhere, right? Alicia's, she, she's dead. All right, uh, this looks like it might be the excavation site so come up here. I, I wish I could run up small rocks better. A number of times I feel like I have to jump over things. Also, a number of times I just kind of walk down a slightly too steep cliff and get myself half murdered. All right, am I coming up on excavation? That is excavation site, okay. Yep. Boop, boop. Like this, this cliff, definitely steep enough. You'd have to be careful going down it. That's for sure. I mean, there was a huge DDoS attack across half the US a few months ago. It took out half the internet for a while. I remember there, not a, the one from a couple of months ago, but it's, it's probably like almost a year ago now. There's something similar that was, it wasn't anonymous, but it was people pretending to be anonymous. They wanted to like be part of that like glory that was anonymous. I don't know. Also, maybe either Twitch was kind of broken or everyone like, oh, well, stream's down because I was having like, it said I had six people watching before and now I have three. So I don't know, maybe it was broken before and only had three before and so everything's just like, Ugh! oh, Alicia, are you conscious? Okay, good. Also, you might want to heal yourself, ma'am, because you might get yourself murderfied up here. Okay. Nope, too bad. <laughs> Also, how, I also wonder, is everybody else still, like, chilling in here? There's that, like, uh, the guards and the archaeologists. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the right direction. Like, right? Or... Yep, they're still just chillax in here. How are you today? I'm good. And you? Well and met. you're Biff. You're also a bunch of mercenaries. You have, like, nice armor. I might kill you when this quest is over so I can <laughs> add your collection to my own. Alicia. Get the, get the frack in here. All right, we're going to save here. Because if everything breaks, this seems like a good place for it to not be overly broken. All right. All right, let's do this. All right, while that's loading, let's read what it says to do next. All right, as you enter the next cave system... Oh, when you already head there, travel through the excavation site, go through the recover door... Alright, when you're ready, be sure to save your game and enter the door at the far end of that tunnel. Alright, well, we'll get to that point. Come, Alicia. This is place we went through many, many times. I can't remember how to get places, but I've been through many, many times. Uh, Miss Molasses back there. Guess not everybody can run at, like, mock, like, mock kitty speeds. I just like how the, uh, the, uh, the immersion mod makes chimneys give off smoke, so since this is a buried chimney, it still gives off smoke. <laughs> it's like, there's somebody buried down there for the last 300 years. <laughs> Alright, where is this? Here's the throne room. That's a neat looking throne. I'd, I'd take this throne for my house. Actually, it has the right color schemes and everything. Boop. Oh, that's me. I want to look at Throne from... Oh, this is just generic throne from... An, oh, this is the Anvil Throne. Ah, okay. I like the Anvil Throne. The color scheme is going to work nice in my Battlehorn Castle. We have here... I can't take these, can I? I mean, I can literally physically pick them up, but there's no take button. Alright. So we're going to go through here. Oh, hello! Welcome back! Um, Denny. Right? It was Denny or Dennis, right? Am I remembering right? I am. I finally got. Oh gosh, don't don't stare into the light. So Alicia, we need Alicia, and then that's a door we can't go in yet. But this is a door we couldn't go in before. Um, and this is one we need to go into, I believe. Yeah, I got it right. Welcome back. So 
doing Tears of Fiend, I think you saw me doing a lot of Tears of Fiend. We're like right at the end where um so Cleon and her had a big fight. Cleon ran off, so I'm gonna find proof that she's been conniving and manipulating all this time. She's not who she says it is. He had me come to him and follow him to his wife's grave. And his wife's grave was empty and he like put all the things together. He's like, yeah, my wife wasn't my wife. It was Alicia manipulating me at the most deepest of like treachery levels of pretending to love him and be his wife to manipulate him to be like to push him even more to be that instrument of destruction that we used him as and so now he's like I ultimate him she's got to come here where it all started you're gonna bring her here and we're gonna work this freaking thing out i think he meant with swords but we're gonna work this thing out and that's exactly where we're at right now and i'm just about to save here we're gonna like progress and see if I do it right. I guess pretty much is what it's going down into. All right. When you enter, approach the front of the platform. You know, Cleon, delivering a death threat to Alicia. Immediately run to the end. Run, run into the room to the left and use the and use the hatch. Sprint down the corridor, jump off a nearby platform. Don't waste your time running down the stairs. Continue to the ladder and out of the arena again. Run towards where Cleon started. The gate to your right. Run up the fallen pillar and drop down into the gap created between the platform and the gateway. Run. I get to run a lot. Run down towards the arena. Bloodworks. Enter the door, ensuring you get a, get a torch out if you don't already have one, and ignite it prior to entering in the next room. Take the middle largest passage. Pause. You got. Oh my gosh. Um. If Alicia's uh. How? Hello. For more information, how to avoid it. Holy crap. So we need to eventually. Our, our ultimate goal is we need Alicia to be alive when we reach the. Whatever we're going to. All right. We'll be right back, Dennis. I feel myself growing dizzy. I, I'm sorry that it's come to this. If you believe nothing else, I say, you must believe that. But the time has come for this confrontation, this saga of darkness within darkness to reach its conclusion. And you are no longer a part of it. Your tale has been told. So is Cleon's. Now it is time for my own tale to come to an end. Where we stand now is the epilogue, the closing chapters. Great writers love to kill off unexpected characters at the last moment of their story. And rest assured, my dear friend, one of the characters in this saga will die. I have taken steps to ensure that it won't be you. You can see that Alicia has been crying as a steady flow of tears gets changed from her fiendish eyes. I poisoned you last meal. You won't suffer, but you will be rendered immobile for long enough to ensure that the conclusion is written. I'm truly sorry that it's come to this, my friend. I pray that you can forgive me in this life or the next. No! <laughs> Idea came back. Gosh, it's very dark. Oh crap! Oh gosh, it's very dark. So, oh, is that where I came from? Oh, so I need to run this way. Alicia, Alicia Hawthorne, the time has come for you to judge the fall of Tamriel. Holy shit! For your countless crimes, I've sentenced you to death. Okay, um, gotta run somewhere. I can't get off there, okay, uh. Where am I? Oh, how do I get where I'm supposed to go? Oh, they're door. And so, and Alicia lies dead? How the frick was I supposed to get there in time? Holy crap. Holy crap, that was quick. All right. We're going to try that again. Because she's the bed. All right, so we go in here. She gives me a little spiel. You feel yourself growing dizzy. All right. Da, 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 da. Come on, run. I need to run. I need to book this as fast as freaking possible. All right, so they run this way. I run over here. Nope. Where the frick am I supposed to go again? This one. And then you start screaming, Alicia. Alicia, the time has come for you to judge the fall of Tamriel. For your countless crimes, I have sentenced you to death. Oh. Is this... Is this where I'm supposed to stop you at? Don't try to stop me. You cannot stop me. It has to be done. No. To you. Don't do it. 
And so it ends. Alicia lies dead. What? I am left. Um, I guess that wasn't the way I'm supposed to do it. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to lock the gate so she can't get up here somehow. Maybe. Right. All right. So what are you supposed to do? When you enter, approach the front of the platform. You hear Cleon delivering a death threat. Immediately run to the room on the left. Use that. Sprint down. Sprint down that corridor. Jump off the near light platform. Continue up the ladder and out into the arena again. All right. Run towards where Cleon started to get to your right. Run up to the fallen pillar and drop down into the gap created between the platform and the gateway. Run towards the arena. Blood. Where is this gap I'm supposed to run towards? Hmm. All right. Well, let's try this again. Oh, there's like two Alicia's. That was that was funny. All right. All right, so she went that way. I have to go this way. I always get messed up here for some odd reason. Where am I going? Oh, this door. All right, so there's a fallen pillar after. So we walk up here. Alicia, hold on. The time has come for you to judge the fall of Tamrin. For your countless crimes, I sent you to death. Nope. Where am I? Where? Where is it? Where am I supposed to go? I can't even see anything. That's where I came out of. All right, so let's let's just take a moment to freaking figure out where I'm supposed to be going. So it said like walk, jump, go up this pillar. I think. Huh. One moment, though. All right. When you enter, approach the front. Okay. Continue up the ladder and out into the arena again. I'm there. Run towards where Cleon started. The gate to your right. So that's... No, this is where he ended. Or where it ended. Well, oh, that's a broken gate. Alright. Uh, so that's... No, that's... That's not here. So I started... I start here. All right, so I started here. Run towards where Clean started, the gate to right. Run up the fallen pillar and drop down into a gap. So we go over here. Are you gonna run up a fallen pillar? Is this the fallen pillar? Or is this a fallen pillar? Like this is definitely a fallen pillar. So then run up here and jump into a gap, it says. Here. Oh. So instead of waiting, oh, because there's a gate here normally. If I didn't make, if I hadn't made it gone. Come on. Come on. Where are you, gate? I want to put you back up so I can test this theory out. Gate. All right. All right. So I'm supposed to run over here, go whoop here and go down here and go into the blood works. Okay. And then what am I supposed to do after that? Alrighty. Run down towards Arena Blood. Enter the door, ensuring you get a torch out. If you don't have one. And ignite it prior to entry. In the next room, take the middle passage, pausing before running up the other ramp, long enough to push the lever nested in the corner of the room. And then run up to the... Oh my gosh, is this not convoluted or what? Okay. So I'm supposed to do what I did, kind of get out and run to the gate to my right, run up the felon pillar, fall into the spot below, run downstairs, go through the middle, the middle passageway, and there'll be a staircase with a lever in the right corner, I think it said. Alicia's? See, this is probably where the, the perfect place to save would be right here. Let's drop a save right there so I don't have to do this over and over every time. All right. So she walks away. All right. All right. Can I move? All right. And then I run this way. And don't take right there. I take right here. And then I go. Oh, okay. time has come for you to judge before. I go over this way. Your countless crimes I sentenced you to 
Oh crap, no. Yeah, this way. Let me go this way. Let me go here. Let me go down here. Let me take the passage in the freaking Oh, the funny mean the passage in the middle. There was no passage in the damn middle. The large passage in the middle is what it said. I'm pretty sure it said that. Run down towards the inner body. Enter the door. All right. Run towards the weekly and start it. Run out the pillow, drop in the gap, and create a beat the platform the gate right. Run down towards the arena blood words. Enter the door, ensuring you get a torch out. And ignite prior to entering. In the next room, take the middle largest passage. There's a middle largest passage. What? Okay. So I went through this door. I want to make sure I have my torch out, it said. Yep. So I have my torch out, ignited. I don't know why it wouldn't be ignited, but. And then in this place, we take. The middle largest passage. So is it saying this? Alright, so I guess that's the middle largest passage, because I guess they're counting this as a passage. And okay, there's not there's not really enough other passages to call a middle one. She just say like go here. I don't know exactly. Well, I guess we're supposed to go here. Make sure that we pull this lever. And then we're supposed to run up the freak here? How the heck were you really supposed to do this? Alright. Freaking practicing for a speed run. <laughs> speed run, this quest, any percent. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to 100% this quest, aren't I? So, well. Alright, so we go zoom. And then second right, zoom. Nidhi starts talking. We run down here. Nope. Before, what the fall? The old countless crimes I sentenced you to death. Well, try that again. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, look, I can levitate. All right, Alicia. Sorry if this is kind of almost nauseous for anybody because this this flashback effect I actually I'm not a fan Alicia. of. Alicia, the time has come for you. Come on, get out the get out the gate. Uh, I can't ever climb this properly. Right, so we don't go here. I'm not gonna make it in time for sure. I know that, but we go this way, and then I flip this lever. And I'm supposed to run all the way up here. What? So if you get too close, it doesn't work. That's weird. And then up here, I'm guessing that Good afternoon. I would have locked this or something so I could get up here. But yeah, there she is. Carrying rat spawn token. What? What is this? So if I steal it, container has been checked token. Container has been checked token. Huh. All right, so I need to not get caught up on that first that first gate. I can't jump over it. I pretty much have to sit there and just smash E on it. And then let's see if I can like kind of hop over it as it's partly closing. Actually, I might have some stuff of speed. Uh, let's see, anything here that does athletics or speed? Sneak, light armor, elemental, fireworking north, medallion. Uh, sea walking, no. A Khajiit for oh, fortify speed. There we go. Let's put that on. Uh, mysticism, spell damage, reflection, endurance, sunfire, sneak, storm ring. I thought I had another ring of base ring. Oh, I have a base ring of the sea and a regular ring of the sea. I thought I had a necklace of like lithness, I think it's called, or something weird. Hmm. Oh well, I'll put that on and maybe that'll help. Oop. All right, so here you go. Oh, I didn't trigger it. Alicia. All right, there you go. All right, doing good so far. Don't kill Alicia, no! Oh gosh, lever. Dang it.
All right, I, I might have made it. I might have made it. Okay. What am I supposed to do when I make it? If Alicia is alive, talk to her and convince her not to throw away her life. After that, continue below. All right, so we're going to talk to her, make sure she doesn't throw away her life. Alicia, you should not have done that. Continue your princess. It'd be a way to repay your debt and owed, the debt owed by my sins in the past. Whew. Your pre-incarnation, I destroyed that man's life and poisoned his very soul. We destroyed any possibility of a future for him. Yeah, but revenge. Revenge is never justice. Like gods, we believe that we were the givers and takers of creation as we unleashed this bestial ferocity upon Tamriel. His rabid foam-drenched jaws ripped apart the flesh of our enemies and gave us powerful incarnate the cost of countless innocent lives. Pyrrhonation was guilty. Cleon was guilty. Yet both of them have made amends for their sins. Yet I have not. I must make repay the debt and cleanse my soul. Cleon will be the instrument by which I will do this. You, you have changed. But change does not constitute redemption. Redemption cannot be bought by change alone, but through actions. But change does not constitute, and my actions always result in me walking the same dark path that I always have. My desire for self-preservation and a tendency towards megalomania always gets the better of me. No, this way I can bring about the redemption redemption by facing up to my crime and accepting the punishment that I am dealt. Cleon, as the primary victim of my crime, is more than qualified to dispense that punishment. Redemption will not be found in death. Why? Why shouldn't facing my sins earn me redemption? Certainly, it is the opposite to running from my sins, and running is what put me in this position in the first place. Death is not a noteworthy action. Alicia's brow furrows, and you can see that she is mulling over your words at length. Because only actions dictate redemption, and if death is not a noteworthy action, then death will not bring me redemption. Then, if what you say is true, only the, the only correct course of action will, only a correct course of action will redeem me for my countless sins. For me, there can be only one correct course of action. I need to make right what I did wrong. I need to confront Kaleon. Yeah, also, you know, if you have a lot of sins you did, you can't sweep it away with one big action, but I will need your help to do it. You have seen the beast that rages within him firsthand. You know that it cannot be conquered by normal means. Perhaps we can find some method or some device which we can draw it forth. I thought we already cleansed his soul. But anyways. All creatures harbor certain weaknesses, and fiends tend to be particularly susceptible to those who know our true names. She smiles and her eyes grow distant as if lost in the past. I should know Come, let us perform this noteworthy action and take the first step on my road to redemption. All right. So, now, I should probably save, but it says, After this, head back into the blood works with Alicia following and draw the Sword of the Celestial. Be sure to buff your character spells and items when you're ready. Return to Cleon's section of the arena where you crawl through the gap. I crawled through a gap. Via the blood works tunnel, you first entered the blood works through. All right. The moment you get too close to Cleon, he will attack you. Similar to how Palu fights in the legacy section of the mod. You will now use the Sword of the Celestial to try and cleanse the demon inside that represents Alicia's from Cleon. From, for every five hits, you will see a message advising you that Cleon has gasped out a part of Alicia's fiendish name. After repeating the process three times, blah, 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 blah. Don't do too much damage to him somehow. I don't know how I'm not going to do too much damage to him. All right, so that's one. I, I made it this far. There's so many ways to effing mess this mod up. It is ridiculous. All right. I mean, it, it actually isn't a very strong sword. It look, I love glass stuff, by the way. This quest seems needlessly complicated in places. Yes, well, the thing is, there's a million ways to do it wrong. I love the complicated part, because I love the riddles. I love... So you have made your decision and chosen to side with her. Your fate is in your own hands now. I love the depth of it all. I just don't like the, oh, don't do everything just right. All right, so I'm supposed to go down here. And then we'll go to Cleon's side of... Can I can I please not be in flashback o vision Please. And then I go over here, and I'm supposed to confront Cleon. Right? And you'll see me... Hey. Die, 
Um. Hmm. I think Cleon might die before this kills. Oh, he's unconscious. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> he's just unconscious. He's not dead. Also, Alicia, are you dead or are you unconscious? Where the frick did Alicia go? Alicia! I mean, she followed me. There's Cleon. Ah. Oh, Alicia's dead. All right. So, actually, we need her to stay there, for crying out loud. All right. So, when I saved here, I need to run her downstairs and tell her to sit her dang butt there. All right, follow me. So you have made your decision. Yep, I made my decision. To side with her. Yep. Your fate is in your own hands now. Uh, Alicia, you you can't. Uh, Alicia. She she hates him so much. She's just like, no, I'm not waiting for the dang quest to go. So you have made your decision and chosen to side with her. Your yep. fate is in your own hands now. Come here, Alicia. Right, you're going down here. Well, can you? No, you can't. I can't even tell her to wait here. So I, I think I pretty see. much have to bash. We're gonna do it in this vision, so I can actually see him, and we have to just smash him a ton before she dies. I guess, possibly. I might need like <laughs> a command to heal. Where, where is she? Go? A pleasure. And I need her to not follow me. You too. Also, can I can I door? Can I please please door? All right, let's just sprint up here. Where's he at, dude, bro? Cleon screams in anguish as his voice takes on a distinct feminine tone as he utters at a syllable of unfamiliar of an unfamiliar fiendish name. All right. Alicia, please, please don't die. Yeah, we're going to run over here. So when he wakes up, you're going to be as far the F away as him as possible. Thankfully, he just drops unconscious because I'm too strong for my own good and I can't cleanse him without freaking murdering his face. This quest is more complicated than sex. Well, it, the relationship is definitely more complicated than sex. <laughs> All right. Let's run over here. And Clan's not up yet. Okay. Run back here. Alicia, nope. I need you to stay back here because I don't trust that you won't die. It doesn't help that I have a lot of mods that will that probably tweak and affect things. Also, where, where are your shoes? Like your pants. There you are. Well, this is going to take a long freaking time. Is there a way to like make people wake up from being unconscious? All right. Remember when fighting Klingons, you aren't trying to deal too much damage. It is actually possible to kill him. And the Sword Celestial on own does next to no damage. All you need to do is hit him. And I personally find that using hit and run tracks is the best way to survive. If Alicia dies before I hit Klingon, no. If Alicia is alive, I can't. I can't, like, actually seem to freaking hit him often enough. Because I just, I'm too, I'm too strong for my own damn good. <laughs> like, it's just it does next to no damage, but that's 15 damage. That's not next to nothing. That's actually a sizably respectable amount. How do I, like, nerd nerf myself? Get this out of here. Get it out of here. Lol. <laughs> he just wakes up and he's like, Cleanse! Purge! And he just goes flying. Alicia? Just stay back here. I don't want to actually hit you because you've suddenly become mortal. I hope I can. Yeah, you can't help. Just stay out of here. I got everybody has the option to talk about the damn prophet. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, these, these people always are so full of themselves. Dude, my nickname is uh, weaker than a mud crab. Because like everybody in the dang world's like, I fought mud crabs stronger than you, and obviously I murdered them. So there's got to be some really damn strong mud crabs out there. Um. Can I set his like attributes? Can I set his endurance attributes to like a huge number? Why won't you die? That's like one of my favorite quotes. And would you lay it on and bleed to death? I love, I love both of those. 
So when Klingon wakes up, I'm going to see if I can set a V. If I, if I use set AV value, can I use it on him? Um, what's that? How do I do that? Oblivion console. A trib. Buttes. Because that's how I can increase my attributes. How do I? Can I? I can increase his attributes though, right? Set AV attributes. See actor value. I, I, I think I need to find a way to. All right, we'll just we'll just punch him. Just in case we have to do that a, a million times. NBC only attributes. Various attacks. Oh, so we could also do. I could set attributes on other people. What's NN on this list? Is fuse on a skill to increase the skill without causing inadvertent level of issues? All right. So let's say set AV endurance. Is that? Can I not click on? One of you is Cleon. Can I? Can I find Cleon? Is, is Cleon this? I clear on wake up because I don't think you count when you're. Let's get this. You know what? What I'm clicking and still says the same. So Eo two a. But yeah, there. What? Clear on. Set. A V. Endurance. Two hundred. What? That didn't help. <laughs> Anybody else got any bright ideas? How this make this? All right. You could you can do set AV health, but if the script detects if it, if his health is below a certain number instead of percent, it won't help much. I say just try punching him. I have to hit him with the sword is the problem. But I can do set AV health. Set AV health to 500. I wish there was a way to make him immune to damage. Cleon is unconscious. Really? Did I did I did I, did I break him? Is, is you broken? Are you broken, Cleon? Cleon? Cleon's unconscious. Alicia, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> TGM on him? I don't think I think TGM only works on me. I wish it worked on him. I don't think it works on him. Because I don't know if it would then detect if he was he's just not taking damage at all. Cleon, you should have woken up by now. There. Cleon? Ah, there you go. Cleon screams in anguish on his voice. I guess I could just keep doing this a million times. So actually, let's load up the previous one right before I set his... his health values and maybe broke it. There's a way to give him a shield effect, but I have to look it up real quick. If you could find it beforehand, that, that would be nifty. I, I'm still, I don't know, he's probably getting up with like one health, so I don't know if shield's even going to help unless you give him 99% shield. But it does look like it is cumulative. I don't have to hit him three times or five times in a single consciousness level, you could say. Oga okay, now Twitch is like, hey, I'm going to auto quality this at 720. No. Where is he at? <laughs> it's going to back you right, right upside the head. Boy, pop. Because if this is the same Cleon, I don't know if it is, but if it's the same Cleon who's going to be like a dude following me, I don't want to like totally mess and break his skills up. So we're just going to... Whee! Hey Alicia, can I get you stuck somewhere so you don't die and or punch him when I don't want you to? Did you just... Oh, I thought she just ran into the hole and killed herself. I'm like, Cleon. Oh my gosh, I can't hit him. Okay, try this. All right, let's do it. All right. Set AV. Resist normal weapons. 95. Oh, it didn't give me a script error when I did that, so hopefully that'll work. Um, what is if I then unset it? What would I unset it to to be the like the normal default for an NPC? Is it normally zero? Is there like an inbuilt like five or ten percent or anything? It was so weird. Cleon's body kind of looks like it's half tearing its 
itself in half. Hmm. Well, can I set that to 99? <laughs> oh, if that sword has a lot of lightning damage that you'll need to set. No, it doesn't do, as far as I can tell. It... Oh, it does shock damage, yes. Resist magic 95 too, you're right. Um, set resist magic. We're going to put it 99 after this. You can just set it to zero. It's normally zero anyways, unless... Okay, I, was, I thought it was by default zero, but I wasn't sure. You're right, I didn't even notice the dang shock damage on it. Oops, sorry. I hit my mouth. Like, I, I'd like to actually admire the shock on it, but I can't because of the freaking... All right. <laughs> I still one-shot him. Gosh damn it. I need a healing spell. I really literally need to be able to heal him. So I can un so I can like I need to give you more of a whooping boy. I wish I had a healing spell. Oh well. He's just too weak. He's they're so they're guys these guys are so weak. All the time they're so damn weak. And I'm also like kinda of buff apparently. So we're just gonna set this back to zero. I set this back to zero because they didn't do shit all, apparently. Peon's unconscious. All right, we'll just keep swinging at him until it works. Set AV health 200. Did you want autism, cat? Oh, freak, no, I forgot. Oh. Do I have it? Um... Uh, I mean, I have nothing else to do at the moment. No, I already tried setting his AV health to 500, and I think it just increases max health, but he still spawns with, like, two health or whatever. So we'll just knock him down again. Here we go. Autis oh, Autism Cat by Wilberg. Oh, this looks like it's going to be good. All right, I'm going to definitely watch that. I get the feeling they didn't bug test this part much. Well, also, it might be... Um, they might be affected by like Francesco's um, leveled creatures and items, so they might just be shit. But yeah, they said like, "Well, we're gonna give you this really weak, does almost no damage." Like, we <laughs> it does damage. If you do it before he stands back up, he might it it might not set his health correctly. All right, we'll try that next. Actually, no, I've hit him twice. I've done his. His up to five thing twice. I think I only had him like two more times or something. I'm just gonna hit him two more times. We'll call that good. <laughs> We're whooping the evil out of you, boy. Whooping the evil out of you. Actually, can I hit his dead body? Does that count? I don't think it's counting. I'm just gonna flail him. Oh, auto save and like did I just do it? Butcher of Armandale. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the butcher of the butcher of Armandale. Would you like some flank, ma'am? A nice flank, some rump roast over yeah. here. I'm oh, I'm sorry. A pleasure. I'm, I, I really did not mean to do that. Gosh dang it. If I kill her now, I'd be so upset. Ma'am, step step back. Step back, ma'am. There's a dangerous Cleon's body is wrecked with is racked with shudders as a piercing scream fills the air and suddenly a new demon, a female demon, stands beside Cleon, roaring in rage. Okay. Let's do this. If Alicia is alive, continue below, you will now have to have a chance to confront the demon inside. Fortunately, both Alicia and Cleon are essential now, and it's essential cannot be killed. Yay! Sweet. So, we save it here. Because I'm saving like every freaking two inches. Also, when he stands back up, you can do a get AV health. Oh, I'm going to turn his health value so you can at least see, that, see what's going on. That would have been a nice idea. Oh, well. He's not up now, but uh, I, he's down. I can't even like click on him to do. I actually had him click previously, didn't I? So, there. Let's save this again. Finally, I know. <sighs> I'm telling you, this game is... This, this mod is... What? It glitches with my shit. Oh, maybe I should, uh, I'll use this sword because it's the yeah. demon killing sword. He's a demon. Let's cleanse him of this damn... There. Oh, he has no loot on him. 
As Alicia's fiend, the last of the nightmares had long played Cleon, collapses amidst a pool of blood. You hear Cleon, Alicia, and Lisa cheer of joy. Yay! Well. <laughs> and suddenly, the tension that existed between the two of them seems to vanish as if it had never been. Easy. Yeah. Well, it would have, like, vanished if Cleon had not been a pile of death. <laughs> that pile of dead goop over here in the corner. Hi, Alicia. How you doing? You feeling good about him now? All right. Refer to the section to walk through. When you have eventually dealt enough damage to Cleon's demon, both Alicia and Dean will stop and wait for you to speak to them. Doesn't matter what or you speak to them, Friday they speak to them before leaving the arena. Okie dokie. Let's talk to Cleon first. So I could get AV health. It would tell me his health is zero. Well, that's a wonderful amount of health, sir. That explained why you would just insta die. Huh. What's your health? She has 200. <laughs> he just literally has no health. Oh, that's nice of her. Holy shit. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> be healed. Ma'am. Ma'am. Holy shit, ma'am. Holy crap. Look at him. She's just a healing machine. He has a lot of health. Holy crap, he has a lot of health. All right. All right, it doesn't matter. When you speak to Cleon, he'll mention that he's considering retirement. To keep him in your party, you need to choose our option, option that explains to him that his reason for being in the abyss, after which he'll agree to remain as your companion. If he goes and retire, you've gone to Cleon, retired, Alicia, alive, and he turns to the tears of the fiend endings below for more information on that ending and how to avoid it. Cleon agrees to stay with you. We've gone to Cleon, alive, ending. Oh my gosh, I guess we have to keep him in his party to do the ending after this ending. So, hooray, quickie. I know, that was like... Just give, just give, just give him a hand, D, right? All right. Alicia, stop. And after so many centuries, you and I have finally reached the end of our journey. A journey that began in the abyssal plane and continued throughout the saga of your legacy and into the tale of Butcher of Armadale. Yeah, so we both were fiends, or my previous soul was from the abyssal plane with her. A trek that forced each of us to face our sins, our flaws, our malevolent habits, or evolve to be destroyed by them. Despite all we have been through and all the sins we have committed against one another, I have never felt closer to either of you. At that moment where my aspect did the deep demon inside was slain any semblance of hatred between us vanished completely to cleon it re represented the remnants of the beast that rode his back to me it represented the one part of me that i feared would never change and now it is gone and both of us are free to embrace the future with no chains whatsoever and no hidden masters to drive our inner beast now we three stand at the crossroads numerous paths lie before us shrouded by the shadows cast by the tangled mass of trees thus the paths are unclear but one thing is certain the roads will be that are more traveled there are well worn and undoubtedly safer yet there are no hidden gems on that track there are also the roads that few care to tread overgrown with noxious weeds overrun with deadly predators yet at the end of the journey we end up here apparently <laughs> alicia looks at you expectantly obviously waiting for an answer fate let's say fate alicia smiles her eyes sparkling excitedly i knew that you would say that and in truth i am pleased the roadless travel always leads the children of fate to their destiny those who do not shy from the pre-written pages of the God's divine plan will always face the inferno in life. Yet, if they emerge unscathed, the remaining pages in Tamriel's history books are theirs alone to write. Such a future is inviolable. But the decision is yours and yours alone. You and I are a team and have been for centuries, even if it wasn't you precisely I was with. Cleon is the newest member of our team. Gosh, we got a team, sheesh. We got a gang. Yet, even as he journeyed with this for untold years, once our servitor, now is our equal. Oh, shit. What path shall we take, my friend? We're going to definitely take the road less traveled. Heck. Alicia nods, obviously pleased with your decision. Despite all that we have been through, I knew in my heart that chronicles of your saga were not yet complete. The great writer has not yet laid down his quill. I haven't even saved the world from oblivion. But though the chapter of our lives, yours, mine, and Cleon's has reached its conclusion, the road less traveled with open new chapters. Our destiny, our riches, and perhaps our death lie at the end of this road. Thus, it is only right that we begin our trek as soon as... Somebody should have put this through a trance. I mean... Through your pre-incarnations and I have lived entire lives together, feel that you and I still have countless tales to share. In time, and with this gentler, safer road that lies ahead of us, I do not doubt that you and I will have the opportunity to share them. Through a freaking autocorrect. That's what I meant. 
Let us leave, my friend, and begin those tales as soon as possible. I will meet you outside of this place. Okay, thanks. Bye, man. All right, new Cleon. The Cleon, most Cleon testicle Cleon, whoever Cleon. Cleon, the butcher of Armandale. Actually, I think he has more health than me. How much health do I have? Oh, I have 486. He had 394. Ah, I have more. It is done. The evil that corrupted my soul and led to my downfall lies dead. After all this time and all these centuries, I am my own master. The chains that bound me and the muscle that silenced me have at last been removed, and now I am free to continue in the manner that I so choose. Your pre-incarnation has suffered for what he did to me, and has, as has the harlot, Alicia. Th well, you're still calling her harlot. Both of them can torment me no longer. Yet, I could not have accomplished this newfound freedom without your assistance. Yes, you have been invaluable assistance to me, and I want you to know that I will never forget that. In truth, I owe you a debt that I cannot repay. Yet, despite all this good, there is a flaw. A flaw? What flaw? I am tired, my friend. So very tired. Almost three centuries have passed since I walked this world as a child, and the weight of my years weighs heavily upon me. Though I was dead for almost two centuries, my time in the abyss of the faithless was not restful, as I fought endlessly for my right to survive there. Trust me, my friend, there are worse fates than eternally battling in the abyss of the faithless, and I had no desire whatsoever to experience them. Thus, my weariness washes over me, leaving my muscles weak and my vision swimming. I am old, my friend. The desire for bloodshed fades, replaced by gray hair and weakened physique. I sense that perhaps my days as a warrior draw to a close. You want to retire? I have been thinking on it, and I am wondering if perhaps that is my true destiny. My time in the abyss of the faithless revealed to me what lies in store when I next when next I die, and I dread the thought of returning there. Alicia has already lived for centuries, and will doubtless doubtless live for said countless more, provided she doesn't rub someone the wrong way and wind up dead. Through that, to some extent, you will probably experience an extended lifespan due to your own legacy. Though I cannot say if it'll be as long as Alicia's. Well, she has an extra few hundred years on me, so we might end up at the same spot. But me, I am still mortal. I will live for no longer than eighty years in total. Thus, my days are numbered. Hey, dude, you already passed it, like 220 or so, so you're gold. Think that perhaps it would be prudent for me to try and earn a place in the afterlife far away from the abyss of the faithless. That would be a good idea. Perhaps my retirement years should be spent in some manner of servitude and repentant to a patron deity. Excuse my mindset. Um, I think your reason. I don't think your reasoning is sound. And why is my reasoning not sound? Um, I spoke to someone in the abyss. Actually, what is the options I need to go here? Have I ever played Shiver Isles? No, I haven't, and I'm so looking forward to that. I, I want to make it kind of, at least starting off in it, I want to kind of make it a big event to kind of thing. So I'm probably going to pre-plan it. Uh, da, 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 da. Somewhere here, there says something about the... No, oh, endings. Tivia, troubleshooting. Um, hmm, I don't know where... It doesn't really tell me the proper options in here all right final words so can't clean and alive alicia alive ending the best possible ending in my all right so we have Cleon retired. Cleon chooses to retire better, such will no longer serve as a companion. However, perhaps the best justification comes from the knowledge that he retires to a life, a piece in this, blah, 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 blah. To avoid this ending, just ensure that you choose the correct dialogue path during the final dialogue with him. Well, thank you for telling me what that path is, you dang bums. <laughs> that's, that's very unhelpful. All right, well, anyways. So... Um, how about I spoke to someone in the abyss? You all recall that there were others in the abyss when first I arrived, some of them attempted to speak to me, yet I rebuked them. The demon inside, my companion in that nightmare's place, would not allow any others to hunt with us to fend off the hordes of the undead. So what did you what did those you spoke to in the abyss tell you? You were there because of your hubris. Hubris? The crime of such excessive pride and self belief that one thinks himself greater than the gods? Yes, that was indeed one of my many crimes, and doubtless that is one of the reasons I wound up in the abyss. My pride was endless. I believed that I was invincible, that even the gods had no sway over what I did or those whose life I took. I learned the hard way that was not the case. Yet, I do not see your point. You have, re you have repented your hubris. Repented? How so? Suddenly, Cleon's eyes were wide as if an amazing revelation has come to him. I see now, in this conversation low, I have repented my belief that I was greater than the gods due to my re desire to retire in order to serve them. If I was willing to give up my life's work as a soldier in order to earn my place in the realm of the gods, then I was no longer committing the crime of hubris. Cleon smiles broadly and thumps you on the back in a comrade-like manner. 
Comradic matter. You truly do harbor intelligence beyond that of mere mortals. I am glad that I opted to side with you. You and I shall continue to travel together as we did before, making friends where be being friendly is necessitated and enemies where being enemies is necessitated. We shall leave our mark. And that I do not doubt, yet only if we continue together. Some creatures are destined to operate as individuals. Others as individuals operating within a team. You and I are destined to operate as, as symbiotes. No, no, I'm ditching you, sir. The two of us will survive and grow only if the other is present. We will feed off another's strengths and compensate for one another's weaknesses. Such is the definition of symbiosis. Such is our lot in life. Such is our place in Tamriel's history. Come, my friend, let us leave this place of the past and continue, continue out into the open air of Tamriel's most unfettered nights. I will meet you in the entrance to this place. Hooray! Wow. That is like the hardest damn quest in this whole dang thing. <laughs> I, oh, he says I'll meet you out of sight of this place, but this is like literally like not a real place. How do I get out of here? How do I out? How do you do? Also, that doesn't explain that prison door. I couldn't. That has a key that's locked. How the heck do I do that? All right, let me just. Where I'm just following you guys. Where, how the guys? How do I get? How do I get out? Also, what was that? There's something here. I could take. I could take some shit back for me. I could take a memento of my time. I want. Ooh, there's so there's so many options. Calipers, yes. Still, I'm still in the calipers. I, I could go sleep in the fake dream world. That's probably a bad idea. And I'm pretty sure that's how Inception started, right? Just do a dream within a dream. What could go wrong? All right, so I think then this is the other way up. And then we go this, this way. And... No. I, I, I don't... You guys didn't tell me how to get out. <laughs> I'm stuck in your damn dream world. <laughs> also, can we can we lose the... The crazy old vision yet, please. Uh, is this how I? Oh, this might be how I get out. This looks like a, a possible exit. <gasps> freedom, freedom, and so it ends. And despite all the odds, I have managed to mediate a peaceful conclusion to Cleon and Alicia's ongoing argument. Now, both of them are my companions. Together, we shall explore Tamriel and continue to write pages in this great land's history books. Yet, after all that I've seen and done, I cannot help but wonder if perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Hi. Immortality throughout are you just going to tell me that shit every time I talk to you now, huh? You. I need you to not play that sad music every time I talk to you. That's weird. If I talk to her, like my vision, on um, can I can I please unblur now, please? So, where does this go? I I, I can't remember. Does this go anywhere? Oh, this just it's the alternate. Oh my gosh! Please lose lose the fake o vision. Ah. Uh. All right. So I'm gonna save here because I might actually have completed the quest, and I'm gonna like back away from it like a house of cards or I don't want to like breathe on it or touch anything <laughs> we're going to uh, run to the exit in my still dreamo vision I guess maybe it's because I had that food poisoning that she freaking tried to stop me from saving her life for, with but you know I'm stronger than 10 Cleons apparently so I could take a little poison freaking puny weak ass punk <laughs> He's old enough to be my grandpa. Ten times over, but gosh damn it. F him. I guys that this is Hi there. Oh, can we please lose the flashback o vision? I can't I don't even know what I'm where am I going? What am I doing? How do I How do I not be where I'm at? Is it up here? Alright here. Up here. Alright, also right here. How do I I want to go in here, Cleon. Cleon, can you help me? Actually, how, Cleon, how the heck did you get here? And Alicia's like, how did we already lose Alicia? Uh, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. Get over here, Alicia, you bum. All right, guys, you see this? 
See this? Make it, make it, make it works. Oh, at least, I think Alicia's doing that stuck thing where she's not following me. All right. Uh, Alicia. Alicia. I can't even freaking click her. There we go. Disable, enable, boom. The vision is stronger than... Stroger. It's like more strobier than Field of View 2000. <laughs> that sounds like a, a bad product name. Field of View 2000. Uh, more viewy and fieldier. So I, I can't, I can't, how do I... Please, can I out? Can I? I can't. I can't get out. <laughs> Wooden door to the great forest. Please let this fix my vision. If not, I'm gonna. Hmm. Huh. Is there a time limit on this? I'm not seeing. Uh, dream. Yeah. How do I? How do I undream? Uh, auto save. All right, let's just let's wait an hour and see if I undream. Please undream. Oh my gosh, I'm not redemption. As yet another soul falls dead before I can aid it. I can almost hear my duplicate words echoes in the kinds of the made. You cannot always find redemption. What? What? What was that? Also, I'm still in Dream of Vision. Why? Alright, let's see. It's, if I. Maybe if I fast fat travel, that might clear it. Also, there's a whole lot of after tears at the end, redemption after. As I outlined earlier, the redemption quest is not yet complete. The information you gain while in the abyss of faith, as well as the hints contained with the Duke and Static Hero, provide all the necessary clues for a character to find redemption in the matter that the Fiend outlined. Provided as you succeed in cleaving the good ending to Tears of the Fiend, you will be able to complete the final step of redemption. Oh, I might have failed this part. At this point, you expect me to tell you how to achieve this completely perfect ending. However, that is not the case. The final step that was created is my own tribute to those who truly play this mod for all that it has to offer and learn all that they can from the source provided and the NBCs they interact with. Though it is a small tribute to be sure, I think that it contains a great deal of meaning for those who have played my other bods will understand significant and probably what it means for me to include such an ending. Good luck finding it. So I failed it, apparently. So let's load. Let's load back to here, I guess. And I might have to go to a shrine. Ooh, that might work. I don't know if it's considered a debuff or not, but that might be a good idea. So, my redemption at this point is I'm supposed to save somebody else's life. And if I don't save it, I guess it ends. So, whose life that would be connected with this quest line would I need to save? I, I can't think of anybody. Like, the archaeologist, maybe? Huh. A Cure spell. Um, I have a cure disease potion. I don't have a cure spell. I can't find any of the spells I want. I find a bunch of shit ones like rally and crap like that. It's like, I don't want to rally. Oh, this must have been the right direction and I've just lost. Yeah. Have we run into anybody else that could be possibly included in this mod besides these two guys? Panel and Maris. And Maris can die either way, so it can't be... I mean, Penel can die either way, so... Is it... Oh, Biff? Yeah. Welcome to the ruins, or yada 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 yada. No, thank you. What's your story? Greetings. Hmm. Alright, so who... Who else is possibly involved with it? The caretaker. You could try the caretaker. Um, who else might be involved? Because everybody in the past is, in theory, dead, right? Um, I don't think I can go back to the, the other plane. Um, everybody else was already dead except for, um, whatever his name, Cursed Rat Tail or whatever. But he's actually, he was more like an homage from another mod. And he's not exactly canon, so I don't know where he would, like, exist for me to save his life. But I think I probably should try to save his life. But I don't remember if I actually listened enough to his conversation about his own history 
figure out where he might be alive right now. I think I'm supposed to try to save him. All right, well, let's first try going to the orphanage. And let's see if I can, if it's the caretaker I'm supposed to kill. I'm pretty sure I have to save um, the other dude, though. Oh my gosh, can I just... Uh, I need a console. I need to look up the console command for like freaking remove effect because this is getting really effing ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna just half a second here and pause that. Um, effect disable. I don't know the spell code. Gosh dang it. See the list of spell codes. Oh, that's... Uh, I don't know what the spell code is for this. Dang it. All spell-based magic effects. Okay, dispel all spells. Let's try that. Dispel all spells. Oh, I didn't do that right, apparently. Oh, dispel only has one L. Not two. Command dispel. Okay, no, that worked. It should have worked. Enchantment if it does not work on enchantment effects affecting target. Uh, do you have ref scope? Uh, do I have ref scope? Is that this isn't ref scope, right? Is this ref scope? Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. So faction listing, equipped inventory. Um, doesn't see effects on me at the moment. Race, no leopard, faction. Uh, oh, a lot of factions, holy shit. I have a combat dual faction, special combat faction, player faction, fighter field, nine divines faction, Gendwalin's trap faction, there's a trap faction. Huh. If it's not showing up, there's not a spell effect. It's a... I know I make it go away! Right, actually, this guy, should, in theory, if he was here, there's a good chance that he should be sleeping in this... He's not sleeping down here. Hmm. I'm not sure where the guy I'm supposed to save would be. I think... I feel like these are the only two possible options it could be. Hi, yo, Gyro Man, and your ape gang. Try a Shire. Try a Shire? What do you mean? What's a Shire? You mean like a place filled with hobbits? I really don't understand the design decision behind it. I don't either. It was kind of neat the first time I saw it for like a brief moment, and now it's just like. It's kind of accidentally stuck on me. I'm not even sure the caretaker's damn even here anymore. So one time he fell and caught us over, like, around this area. Uh, he's not still around over here. Alright. Hmm. Well, I might have to... Oh, oh that's a that tiger lily. I might just end up calling it here for the night. Because it's... I was pretty tired to start with. It's 1.30. I've been doing this for, like, four or five hours. So I might call this good, and tomorrow I'll look... I'll try to, like, look into who I'm missing and... How the frick to get the spell effect off me and see if anybody's posted anything online about it in any of the forums or anything because this is silly. This is this is barf worthy, and I can't even wait because if I wait, the quest ends, right? Oh, shrine. Oh, sorry, shrine. Yeah, I mean, I could do a shrine. Let's go to some place with a shrine. Um, so we'll just well, let's, oh, let's not go to coral. The Coral Castle kind of sucks. I can't even remember what the guy's name is, but let's see if I can look in here and then we go... Um, uh, Argonian... Ruintel! I think that's his name, Ruintel. If I could figure out where Ruintel is in life. Ruintel... How many times does he come up? All right. Oh gosh, please. Can I, can I clean this off of me? I don't want this anymore. 
Please. All right, so. Oh. The instigator appears like to point out technically speaking, the events of Rune Tales Tell are not canon to the events of Tudors of Fiend, though Kieran's explanation of Rune's arrival in the abyss of fate is still justifying being the reason I played Rune's Tell. His position is static and can be found on top of the wall as close to the yada yada yada. That's not helpful at all. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't actually tell me anything in here about what Rune Tell's fate is, so. I wonder if that effect is classified as disease. Well. We will find out, hopefully, right? Oh! Yay! Glory be, praises be. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Billy. Ah, oh, praises to the nine and the two. And Cleon. Boop, 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 doop. Cleon, what'd you do with them, Alicia, again? So, oh, there she is. Feels good, it does. Ah. Oh. All right, so I have to figure out what where Ruintel would be because I think Ruintel is the key to this. Um, actually, let's now that I can see again, let's travel back to the dang orphanage and take a peek like normally. Uh, I don't want to download and sell Ruintel's mod to figure out what how Ruintel dies to finish this plus this quest 100%. But I've done this far. I feel like I almost am required to do it 100%, right? So caretaker, where are you at, caretaker? Are you are you at? Do you exist? Are you a thing? I don't see anybody wandering around. Uh, you know these NPCs; they could get like quite a ways off. He's just a minor character, but I don't can't really recall much of any other characters that we've interacted with who would be alive except for Maris. Um, I guess we could go to Maris's cabin. Take a peek at Maris's cabin and see if it's Maris who we have to save. But I'm pretty sure it's Ruintel. I just don't have a clue how to find him. All right. We are going to take a look at Maris's cabin. Maybe Maris knows what happened to Ruintel. Maris, you're going to kick me out immediately when I walk in. Is that still scripted to do that? Doesn't look like it. Maris! He's not even here. How am I supposed to save you, Maris? You, don't, you ain't here. You dang punk. So, Alicia, why why, does she, why do you break sometimes? There you go. Now you can walk again. I don't know if it's something my modding does makes it, that happen or if it's oblivion because I just sit there and go like, man, those cold, poor console peasants. Their games break. They're just, oh, you're not, you're a Skyrim healer. You're not Maris. None of y'all are Maris. Huh. Oh. I think I got big and ugly here. Oh, that's not the right sword. Oh, he has a lot of dang health. Good. Don't. Ow. Wow. Holy crap. Okay. Well, you know what? Unless anybody has any good ideas about Mr. Ruintel, I think that might be it for the evening. Because I, I need to finish that, and apparently, if I wait or sleep or do anything, they do, eh? They, they should have insane loot, but that guy. See how easy I was killing those so many other things? That dude's like, splat. Just my head, bop. Like a melon everywhere. So I like that there's still things in the game that I have to be skit shit scared of. Like the Balrogs are pretty crap too, you know? So, but anyways, like I was saying, I think um, I want to finish this and I can't really do anything else because if I wait or sleep or anything, it goes bleh. So... I'm going to try to look up a bit on Ruintail, see what his fate was, and so next time I play, I can maybe try to save his life if that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, if you guys want to figure out how that ended, just next time you see me on, just ask me and I'll try to recount it to you. They have like 10,000 health points and over 50% resist to everything though, and like two shots you without high armor. Dude, that guy like, did he one shot or two shot me? And I, I have... 
okay high. I don't have the highest of armor, but I have pretty high armor. I have above average by far, but above average armor with some good enchantments on it to boot. Um, but yeah, that guy like beat the level loving nightmares out of me. But I just have to remember that this save. I'm just gonna keep reloading from this save. It's just try. I'm gonna try it real quick and see if I if I have a a weak potion of cure disease, if that's what it was, or if I literally have to see a shrine. So I'm gonna do that last little thing first, and then we're gonna call it good for the night. And tomorrow is a Wednesday. Well, tonight <laughs> is a Wednesday. So um, I might, I'll probably be on later in the evening. Oh wait, I should. I I might. I'm, I'll probably be in late, late evening. But I think I'm supposed to be helping somebody do a Silent Hill 2 stream. So um, I'll probably be on later tonight. Later tomorrow. If I'm not, I apologize because I'm probably trying to fix the mod or something like that. So. Okay, so it is considered a disease. That's really good to know. All right, cool. So, thank you all for your help, and thanks for showing back up, both of you, Mr. Dennis, and, of course, my good savior there, Mr. Billy Witch Doctor Magic Mod Master. And um, I'll hopefully see y'all um, again around sometime, and maybe one day I'll even get my dang affiliation going, and I'll have to look into like all my links and cool stuff, and it'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, morning, evening for y'all. Catch you around.